The cathedral was built in 301 AD, making it one of the oldest Christian churches in the world. Welcome to the Church of Holy Etchme and Saint. What you're hearing are priests and monks singing either side. I'm sure you can hear it, but what you're missing out on is the, the way it's resonating inside the church. It's like, it's, uh, it's, it's really, it's rich, it's powerful, it's uh, holy. Father Kittrich Devejian, an American-Armenian priest who now lives here, is the keeper of the Ark. He has agreed to show me the holy relic. It's kept at the back of the cathedral, along with hundreds of other sacred artifacts. This is our reliquary museum in Holy Etchmianzin. It's where we house and where we display all the relics that are the most valuable possessions of the Armenian church. Father Kittredge shows me a piece of wood believed to be yeah, from yeah, the Ark yeah. itself. It is so revered that it's encased in gold and silver. So how does a church in Armenia have a piece of the Ark from Noah? Uh, according to the 4th and 5th century Armenian and Greek historians, a uh, bishop of the church named James led a group of pilgrims up the side of the mountain in search of the ark. As he ascended the mountain, the group obviously tired, and he fell asleep, and in, uh, in a dream that he has, an angel of the Lord appears to him and calls out to him and says, James, you will not be able to reach the peak of the mountain to see the ark, but as a reward for your efforts, you will be given a piece of the ark when you awaken. And when he woke up from the dream, there was a piece of the ark under his head. And that was this piece? That was this piece, and it was brought here and kept here in Holy Etchmiazin. Has anyone ever found any other pieces? Uh, many Armenians, as well as non-Armenians, have made pilgrimages up Mount Ararat with hopes of finding the ark. Many have also said they have seen the ark, but none have returned back with a piece of the ark. So if one were to say, that's, that's a great story, fantastic box, uh, it's well preserved, but how do we actually know that this is from the ark, from Noah and the ark? My answer, my answer would be that we accept it on faith. We accept many things on faith. From the perspective of a man of the cloth, that makes sense, and I respect that. But from a man of science, it's like, well, let's carbon date it. Has anyone ever asked to carbon date this wood? Uh, not to my knowledge, Josh, no. So if I were to start a conversation with the church, and determine if it's, we can find a lab that's mutually agreeable, and then we could test a piece of this wood to see if it's carbon dated to the time of Noah. Maybe? Josh, let me tell you, you are more than welcome to make the request. But for the Armenian people and the Armenian nation, for centuries we've received and we've accepted that this is a piece of the ark based on faith alone. And that faith has been enough to sustain all of us. I think what we'll do is probably put it back in the case. I will send a letter to the church We'll see if that goes anywhere, but for now, I'm going to continue looking for other physical evidence in my quest. Be my guest. Okay, but thank you. This has been uh, an honor and a privilege. Can I touch it? Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I touching the art. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Faith may be all the Armenian church needs, but I'm hoping to find concrete proof.